Hi, well today I was just going to show you um, the usual way that people tend to um, stretch their watercolour paper. I'll just show you the things that you need. Got a pair of scissors, this is a standard sort of washing up sponge. I've got a dish with some clean water in it. Um, I've got this tape, this is the useful stuff. This is about five centimetres wide or two inches in old money. Um, this is a gummed tape, so you actually have to just dampen this surface and then it becomes quite sticky, quite similar to envelopes. And uh, you, this is the ideal stuff. So I've already cut myself some lengths of um, paper tape ready for that. So first thing I'm going to do is just dampen both surfaces of the watercolour paper. So I want this really to absorb as much water as it can. So I'm just brushing that around until I'm fairly sure that's now absorbed as much water as possible. The board, by the way, that I'm working on is um, obviously a nice flat board. So now that is completely um, saturated with water. The fact that it was wet is holding it in place on the board. It tends to just really grip onto that board because it's wet. Now I'm ready for the pieces of tape. So I just dampen these pieces of tape. Not using too much water this time because I don't want to wash the glue off. So I'll just put these on. Just trying to make a point of trying to line these edges up to make a nice straight edge. As you press the tape down it does become a little bit transparent so you can see the edge you work to. Now I've probably got um, not quite half the tape onto the paper but that's plenty enough to grip it. If you want to be a little bit more um, sure of it you can put half the tape on the paper and half on the board. But I, I happen to know that this will be enough to grip the paper. So I'm pressing this down with a sponge. Um, it, at the, it, by using the sponge, you're kind of forcing away the excess of water because you don't really don't want this to be dripping with water. So I'll spread the surface of the tape evenly using the sponge. I find this very useful. All right, we'll just put the last piece in place. goes across the top here. Just make sure that this last piece is square. Right. Now that is nicely held down. And all you have to do now is just wait for it to dry. You can speed that process up with a hairdryer if you want to. And the reason for doing this is that um, as you, as the paper dries, it will create a slight tension across the surface of the paper. And when you start to paint on it, although the paper the paper may buckle a little bit when you're using um, a wet wash on it, because it's held down, it will pull itself flat again as it dries. So this is the best way to really keep your um, work flat as you work on it.